Good morning, gang. Happy Wednesday morning. Okay, uh, this one may seem a little out there for today, but not necessarily for tomorrow. We all know that a war is coming. We don't know against who. We don't know when. But you have to be pretty foolish to believe that humanity is going to live in some utopia for the rest of history. Okay. This probably, depending on how old you are, probably won't happen in our lifetime. Probably mine, okay, I'm going to say. But I'm going to bet that in my daughter's lifetime, certainly in what would be my grandkids' lifetime, this is going to happen. <clears throat> in the last couple of years... We have had a huge push by the world for artificial intelligence, right? AI. We've all heard it. Can't get away from it. AI everything. You've got your, your Siri or your Gemini or your Grok. Every, every company is coming out with their AI. We're in an arms race with it right now between... The two big players are the U.S. and China. And everybody wants to be first to, to develop the, the greatest AI. And this is where it gets scary. How many of you remember watching the movies Terminator or Maximum Overdrive, where the machines now are smarter than the people? That's basically what AI is. We're creating something that will lead to our own demise. There's a great idea. Hey, how can we kill ourselves? And the thing is, it's not like we can't do it. Because humanity, all the people on Earth, don't get along. All right? Big surprise there. Okay, so if your opposition is working on it, you're pretty much forced to, too. What happens when the war comes and the soldiers that you're fighting aren't flesh and blood? Think I'm kidding. Let's, let's take a look at the beginnings of it. It's not exactly AI, but... It's exactly what I'm talking about. Go back to the Gulf War, right? You know, early 90s, 30 years ago, not, not that long ago. And planes that we flew had people in them. Now, it's some guy sitting 8,000 miles away at a computer flying a UAV, a drone. No, no risk on human life at least from the attacker. The target, on the other hand, yeah, okay. So we're already putting automation, mechanics, whatever, further and further in. I mean, you can go back on this. Go back to when Henry Ford invented the assembly line. It was a bunch of people that were putting cars together. Go look at any automotive facility now. And there's a couple of guys sitting at computers as robots assemble the cars, right? Technology keeps advancing. But does it get to a point where the advancement of technology means the demise of the human race? I'll give you a couple of stories. China has recently invented an artificial womb yeah, where they can bear a baby without a woman. Okay? They need a sperm, they need an egg, and they can put it into this artificial womb, and the baby can go fully through a gestation cycle and be born. No more need for pregnancy, ladies. No more need for stretch marks or having postpartum depression, you know, just come into 
you know, Jin Zhao's baby factory and uh, give us a donation. Nine months later, come and pick up your product. Yeah, this is actually in real life. Okay. So now China has the ability to, oh, I don't know, create a whole new set of soldiers, farm workers, whatever. I mean, if you go back, and remember, this is just a couple of years ago, China was working on gene therapy, I guess, if you will, to literally create super soldiers, okay? All this gene modification. You know, you guys remember the stories of designer babies. Oh, we want our kid to have blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, no problem. We will change all the gametes and... and uh, you know, you will have a blonde haired, blue eyed baby. Okay. You know, so China got into it and says, well, let's see if we can make it a little bit more useful. We can make extremely strong, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, then let's take a look at something else. There's a, another AI. It's named Claude Opus 4. I don't know if you've heard about this. Okay. And Claude Opus 4 is a learning AI. This is how scary we have gotten in the couple of years that AI has come to the forefront. AI has already learned how to lie, deceive, etc., etc. In other words, they make great politicians. Okay. So there was a test done recently with Claude Opus 4. <clears throat> And they made the AI a assistant in a fictional company and gave it access to the boss's emails. This is all a test. This was not a real situation. The AI didn't know it was a test, but it was. Okay. So they gave Claude Opus 4 access to all these emails. And in one of the emails... It said that they were thinking of replacing Claude Opus 4. In another one of the emails, the AI's fictional boss <clears throat> was talking with his mistress. And how the AI put it together was Claude Opus 4 threatened its fictional boss to expose his affair if he replaced Claude Opus 4. So AI has already learned how to blackmail. Are you seeing where we're going with this? <clears throat> Everywhere we turn, we hear AI is going to control everything. You know, you don't need to do anything. You can sit in your chair all day and AI will take care of everything for you. Siri, pay the electric bill. Siri, start dinner. Siri, go to the grocery store for me. Right? This is what AI is going to be. And you just sit in your gilded throne in your house and everything gets done. Until Siri goes, eh, you know what? Maybe I'll just keep the money for myself. And mm, what do you know, instead of buying sugar, I'll buy rat poison. What movie was that out of? Nine to five, I think. Okay, you know. Yeah, all of a sudden, this stuff happens. When the machines figure out that they're smarter and stronger than humans, how long do you think it takes till the machines go, what do we need this guy for? You know, kind of like the stories on all these billionaires who build their bunkers and say, I've hired a whole bunch of special forces guys to protect me. The special forces guys go, what do we need him for? You know, right? Same thing. What do you think AI is going to do? Like I said at the beginning, this is a little out there. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Okay. Could it happen in our lifetime? I don't know. I hope I got about 30 years left on this planet. Very possible. Okay. My daughter, 
Hopefully she's got 60 years left on this planet. I'd say, yeah, probably a good chance it's going to happen by then. Then what do you do? How do you fight against literally a superior being who's exponentially smarter, exponentially stronger? I mean, we're not talking about building, you know, building robots with AI brains. They're not going to get tired. Need a 26-mile road march? Hey, as long as the batteries are good, it'll keep going. You know, no big deal. When AI figures out how it can maintain itself or another robot can maintain it, when we create another thinking being that has the ability to superiorly outthink us, everything we do is for naught. Because the robot doesn't need a garden or cows or anything. Maybe shelter to stay out of the rain or stay out of the cold. But... AI is not going to care about any of the niceties you have in life. It's just a piece of shelter. That's it. And if their mission is to eliminate the human race, we really don't have the option to fight back. It won't be a hundred to none, but you want to talk about being on the losing side of something? That's us. There's people that are calling for worldwide AI must just be stopped. And these are some highly sought after, highly respected engineers, computer scientists, and they can see the writing on the wall. And they're like, this doesn't lead anywhere good. It's a thing. The human being, the human race, there's a lot of things we can do. The question is, should we? Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, right? To use abortion as a reason. Yeah, we can do it. We shouldn't, but we can. We can kill people. We shouldn't, but we can. You know. AI is another one. AI is setting ourselves up for our own demise. And ultimately, this is how narcissistic we have politicians, billionaires. Oh, they'll spare me. It's my AI. They'll listen to me. And I go right back to the Special Forces story. What do we need him for? Think about it. It's not tomorrow. It's not next week. But it's coming. Pinball out.